Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Now, first this evening, embattled president of the National Water Commission, NWC, Mark Barnett, has been sent home on administrative leave. The decision was made today following a meeting of the board of directors of the NWC. Now, Mr. Barnett, who has been embroiled in controversy for breaches of several permits in relation to his upscale apartment complex in St. Andrew. Anthony Log has the details. News that Mark Barnett was sent on administrative leave came sometime before 6 Friday evening. It follows mounting calls for his resignation following a damning report by the Integrity Commission. The document, which was tabled in Parliament on Tuesday, revealed that Mr. Barnett and his wife breached building, planning and environmental permits for their development on Charlemont Drive in St. Andrew. In an interview prior to Friday's development, the NIA's Principal Director Daniel Archer said the matter was a glaring opportunity for the government to make clear that it stands against corruption. Remember, this report is coming from an entity that is sanctioned by law. So we can't go around the report because the report is coming from a lawful institution. Not accompanying that report by the appropriate actions from those who supervise him would simply be a flash in the space of the IC to say, we really don't have any, any, any value. We don't respect your report. TVJ News was informed that the decision to send Mr. Barnett home was made today following a meeting of the board of directors of the NWC. It's further understood that the five unions representing NWC employees had recently written to Prime Minister Andrew Holness to fire Mr. Barnett, claiming that the staff had lost confidence in his leadership. In its report, the Integrity Commission called into question Mr. Barnett's moral authority to lead the National Water Commission. Among the revelations, he disputed a bill of approximately $900,000 that he allegedly owes the NWC for sewage and other water supplies to his upscale apartment complex in St. Andrew. In the face of the contents of the reports, it, it does appear that he would have a challenge, even morally, in getting other people to comply with the request of the NWC. The matter has been referred to the Director of Public Prosecutions for a determination on whether charges should be laid against the Barnetts, the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation and the developer. Anthony Log, TVJ News.